You bet. You might have heard someone say, "You bet," instead of "You're welcome," or in place of "Of course" or "For sure." Thank you so much for showing me how it's done. You say to your teacher, "You bet," she replies. I appreciate your help today. You thank a friend who has helped you move. You bet. What are friends for? Your pal says. Do you want to grab a coffee? Your classmate might ask. You bet is your reply as you both head to the coffee kiosk. Is this for me? You ask. As one of your parents hands you a gift, you bet comes the reply. As you can see, you bet is a great reply instead of "you're welcome" or "no problem." You bet is also the perfect response in lieu of "yes," "okay." For sure, of course, or any other number of affirmative responses. Although "you bet" is not exactly formal speech, people also often use the more informal "you betcha." The idiom "you bet" traces its history back. To the indigenous people of North America, for whom betting on things was a common everyday occurrence. In the indigenous North American culture, if someone offered you a bet, you would surely take it. You would bet. Betting was probably a social practice. That kept relationships tight, as both parties would have to remember with whom they've made a wager, and also follow up with them at a later time. You may equate betting with gambling, and therefore have an aversion to it. But a bet or wager is simply a small component of gambling. In its most basic form, a bet is simply a wager between two people who have different opinions on the outcome of a certain event. Gambling, however, is a set of artificially created games. Designed to be entertaining, profitable, or both, it's best to stay away from gambling. Thanks for helping me cook this new dish. You might say to your roommate, and he replies, "You betcha." You may thank the bus driver as you're getting off the bus. You bet. He replies. Maybe your cousin asks if you'd like to go camping this weekend. You betcha, I'd like to go camping. You bet, might be your reply when a tour guide asks you and your friends if you'd like to see a non-touristy part of town. So, whether you're replying to a word of thanks from someone, or affirming your approval of something, don't forget about "you bet" or "you betcha."